Good morning, <clears throat> my fellow Americans. The State of the Union is good. It could be better, but it's not bad. I'm going to wear these glasses all day to show my support for Sleepy Joe and the contrast between him and Psychotic Donnie. Yeah, Sleepy Joe or Psychotic Don, uh, Donnie, yeah. It's funny how <clears throat> these are called shades and Donnie's the shady one. Yeah, Donnie is definitely the shady one. So I think that uh, Old Joe did a good job last night. You know, the guy has a problem with speech. You know, it's been well documented that he stutters, stuttering Joe. But it takes a lot of balls to stand up in front of a room full of people. Uh, and give a speech. And I just love love the fact that the the republicans didn't stand one time they just don't agree on anything you know <clears throat> and the uh, the speaker of the house sitting behind joe biden supposedly a man of god he he'll probably quit today he'll probably quit today because he probably went home and said what do I fucking believe in? What do I believe in? Do I believe in tax breaks for fucking billionaires? This is what the uh, inflation's all about, man. Joe Biden is in the White House and he wants billionaires and probably we're gonna get our first trillionaire soon. He wants them to pay their fair share in taxes, man. The fuck? And you guys, you know, the trailer trash uh, faction of the Republican Party, ma led by Marjorie Taylor Greene, MTG. She was all dolled up in her Trump attire. Probably had a fucking stinky Trump tea bag on. Just the thought. Oh. You know her breath stinks in the fucking morning. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we're definitely going to get to the mail today, this morning, because they obviously, these people, I've read through a few of them, and they obviously listen to a different speech than I listen to. They imagine shit. Uh, they just don't hear, you know, Bella stop. Uh, they're in La La Land, unfortunately. So Joe's done a good job. It's a complicated world. Uh, people say, oh, we had, we didn't have any wars. Well, you know, really? Uh, did Joe Biden start a war in Israel? Did he start a war in Ukraine? No. No, he didn't. Those are two uh, leaders who are in the same boat as Trump. They started the wars. Trump and Putin get along like fucking long lost friends, you know? Him and Bibi, Bibi Netanyahu, who is a total piece of shit. Uh. He's a Trumper. So you can blame the Trumpers for the wars that are going on in the world. And these wars affect everything. They affect pricing. They affect everything. The price of gas. They disrupt oil. Uh, so it's an issue. If you, if you sleep good at night saying it's all Joe's fault, well, you know, that's on you. But uh, I heard a lot of things in that speech. You know, the biggest thing is every... 
every uh, problem you have with Joe, he's addressed that, and the problem is this big speed bump called the United States Congress House of Representatives. Uh, these guys won't pass fucking anything. But if he came up with a bill to give billionaires tax breaks, that shit would fly through uh, the Republican Congress. Um, that bill that he put forward, bipartisan Senate bill uh, for border security, was huge. It's a huge bill. The biggest bill and most comprehensive bill put forward in a long, 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 long time. Since probably Reagan. I don't know what he said exactly. And I want to address the fact that, you know, people will listen to me and I don't, sometimes my facts aren't straight. Listen, I'm not a politician. I elect people who, that's their job. <clears throat> I vote for people who know the facts, you know. I don't vote for people who are fucking the lunatic fringe in this country. Uh, so, Marjorie Taylor Greene, she embarrassed herself again. Obviously, uh, Joe Biden didn't give her the fucking time of day. You never argued down. You know what I mean? Uh, he just let her do her thing. It's pretty well documented. She's a fucking idiot. She has no no um, no class, man. I mean, she's just a classless person. Uh, and it's, it's horrible. To, I just like to see what the people actually do, like look like who vote for her. Yeah, Marjorie's our girl. Yep. She has no idea what she's talking about most of the fucking time. She's a total fucking idiot. And uh, she embarrasses herself daily in Congress. She doesn't even know how to... I don't even know what you call it because I don't know how to do it either. But I'm not the fucking one sitting in Congress, you know. She doesn't even got have the lingo. She doesn't even know how to, like... Do the daily business of a congressperson. She totally just is ass backwards. She's a fucking idiot. I mean, there's no other way to put it. So, I'm going to have to take the glasses off. And these are real deal aviators, my friends. These are U.S. Navy fucking Ray-Bans. 14 karat gold from World War II, Jackson. Johnny got a gift in the bottom of a fucking bucket full of tools that I bought for a hundred bucks. There was a six, seven hundred dollar pair of fucking sunglasses in the bottom of that some bitch. Yeah. All right, let's get right to the fucking demented part of this. It's seven twelve right now. Uh, let's see what. Hater mail, it's hater mail time. This guy, John, he's got a lot to say. Wow, ba Biden gave a fantastic State of the Union speech. I agree with everything he said. I also believe in open borders for everyone, no matter what country you come from, and also should have the right to vote from day one and free health care and boarding until you get established. And I'm not sure that's what he said, my friend. You might want to go, you know, I don't know if Obamacare takes care of fucking air cleaning, but you might want to go get your ears clean. And, you know, unfortunately, if there's just a vast wasteland uh, from in that space between your ears, uh, cleaning your ears probably isn't going to help. But it seems to me that uh, Joe Biden put forward a bill and it got voted down in Congress. Every Republican said, no, we're not going to fix it. And why'd they say no? Because their fucking leader, their cult leader, Donald Trump said, we don't want to give Joe a victory. So what he's proposing 
is to let this shit that you're so concerned about let it go on for at least another year until he gets elected and then we got to go through the whole process of coming up with another bill which they will never do they haven't done it and they won't do it uh so we're looking at another two years of all these people coming through the border uh it's not what he said my friend john you're blinded by your hatred and uh, for Joe. So, this guy, John and Sleepy Joe need to head to the home. Time for bingo and naps. Well, I got one thing to say to you, my friend. Bingo and naps sounds pretty fucking good to me. Shit, you kidding? Joe Biden's been working his whole fucking life. He's the poorest president we've ever had. He has no money. He's not in it for power, money and power. He's doing it for our country. You wouldn't. Have, you can't even fathom that, you people, that somebody would actually do something that's, you know, not self-centered like Donald Trump. It's all about Donnie. It ain't about you, trailer people. <clears throat> oh, double wide Donnie, he ain't, he don't care about you, so. Grinder Pump Guy, he, he put up a good post, but it's very long, but I, I love that. Another guy, you know. If, if. They really can't articulate things, these these uh, Trumpers. It's either fuck Joe Biden or Trump 2024. It's really not, you know, they're not really uh, articulating anything. I mean, they're pretty limited in their vocabulary and their thought process. Um, uh, I'm a Trumper. Yeah. These people are just fucking unbelievable. The toilet I put in yesterday, this guy says, that's gonna leak like a sieve. You should have used a small can of glue with a smaller dauber. Uh, yeah, but get a fucking life, you goofball. I've glued more joints than you could ever imagine. Fucking dumbass. Johnny, you're going crazy. I ain't going crazy, motherfucker. I arrived a long time ago at Crazy Land. I ain't going crazy. I've been there for a while, Jackson. Believe that. A lot of comments about my pool yesterday. My pump is self-priming, guys. The air gets pushed out of the system. You can hear it when I turn the pump on after I change the filter. All the air bubbling out of the system. Uh, the filter's clogged. The filter that I put in yesterday that I thought was a clean filter, she did a shitty job cleaning it. So uh, I'm not getting the flow to get all my jets in the, in the spa running. Um, you know, it's typical. People don't do their fucking jobs. They're, they're thinking about <coughs> something else. Anyways, I think Joe did a good job. Uh, Joe is Joe. I think his. I think he's a cool guy. I think he's the kind of guy you could go have a fucking beer with. He's he lives a little closer to the ground than than Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump is just not a likable person to me. I wouldn't want to sit down and fucking bullshit with him. Uh, I think he's a scumbag. And, you know, I'd be afraid, like, some makeup or, you know, he'd shit his pants or something next to me. Uh, Joe Biden, 
is a good man. I actually met him, I shook his hand, and I'll bet most of you can't say that, but I remember going to uh, this very highfalutin market, uh, Morton's here in Sarasota, and I was telling the lady, uh, the cashier, because I had gone to that market right after a rally that Joe Biden was here in Sarasota. And I, stopped, I talked to him and I shook his hand and had a few minutes talking to him. And he's a cool guy, man. He's a cool old Irish guy, you know. He's got he's to, gotta, you know, tighten it up when you're the president of the United States. You can't go up there and start talking like me. But I think Joe's like me. I think he bullshits, he talks, he swears, he's funny. Uh, but, you know, he's also the president, and he realizes uh, the way presidents are supposed to act. Donald Trump never got that memo. Donald Trump acted like a fucking total idiot. Donald Trump, everything about, he's, he, Donald Trump is a poor man's idea of a rich man. He's a dumb man's, listen, his fucking... Ricky Redneck on his way to work. All the way down the street, just fucking making noise. You know, the hell with the birds singing on a Friday morning. He's got, he's fucking pissed about the State of the Union because it's good. You know? Joe Biden straightened the ship out, guys. And this guy's fucking angry that we're not worse off than we, than we are. Anyways, yeah, Joe, Donald Trump is a poor man's idea of a rich man. He's a fucking dumb man's idea of an intelligent man. He's a fucking actor. You see the way he walks out like he's some kind of... He's a moron. Then he opens his fucking mouth, and it's always about him. They're coming after me because it's, they really are coming after you. No, Donald, you're the one who stuck your stinky finger in this woman. And, uh, you know, now you have to pay the price. And you don't want to do that. He knows that money ain't coming back, Jack. Once he hands that cash over, it ain't coming back. And he, he's, he's cornered. He's a big, fat, ugly rat cornered. And, uh, yeah. He don't have the money, guys. What's he gonna come up with next? Joe Biden's gonna win. And you poor motherfuckers are gonna have to find a new uh, cult leader. Because I've always said that time keeps marching on, man. Time keeps marching on. Eventually, Trump will be gone. Eventually, well, he's already shitting in his pants. You know, I, my old saying is we come, we go out of this world the same way we came in. Crawling around, shitting our pants, fucking drooling. Yeah. Can you imagine having to be the person to fucking change Donnie's diaper? throw him up on the kitchen table and lift his legs up and wipe that fucking four foot wide ass. Oh, God. Definitely would have to be a woman because no man could ever do that. Terrible. So I, I turned the State of the Union on. I can't watch the news here at my house, man. We've got this crazy Fios, uh, um, cable package where we basically have internet everything else on there you gotta pay for and I'm just not gonna pay for it we don't get CNN we don't get MSNBC we get nothing live uh, it's all streaming it's all yesterday's fucking news so last night I turned my phone on uh, I just got done doing all my shit with the YouTube and uh, I popped on the to the State of the Union live and it was just as he was walking in uh, and I listened to the whole speech and I think he did a good job I think he's a funny guy 
I think he, the people, even the, the right wingers, the senators, they know him, you know. He's been around for a long time. He has friendships with those people. And to a man, those people are like, what happened to our party, the Republicans? They're like, where the, f how did we fucking, we got off at the wrong fucking exit. Jesus Christ. People are fucking lost. You're going to be out in the wilderness for 40 fucking years, man. Yeah. I think that's a Bible. That's There's a story about that in the uh, Bible. Maybe you come back around. So, guys, real deal. Look at these things, man. Ray Bans. Go Joe, 2024. Kick Donald's Trump ass right out the motherfucking door. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do if he loses? Is he gonna just shut up and pay his bills or? Of course not. This is how he makes his, this is his grift. He's not gonna go away. He's gonna run this shit until he starts like shitting his pants and pissing down his fucking leg. Uh, on stage he already is just mumbling incoherent shit uh, nobody knows there's like dead silence in the fucking stands people are like what the fuck is he talking about yeah but I'm gonna vote for him cause he really cares about us he loves America yeah you really need to fucking go get a mental evaluation. You got static in the attic. You need to check up from the neck up, my friends. Voting for Donald Trump. You're un-American voting for him. <clears throat> my, my channel appears to be, to have been taken over by about 10 people who are Trumpers and they just, I don't, have, I don't delete uh, comments guys. I put comments up back to you guys and they don't go up because YouTube's like, we can't put that up here, man. We have some guidelines, community guidelines. Uh, so when your comment doesn't show up, uh, it's not me, because I really don't give a fuck. It just proves to everybody out there that you're a fucking asshole. And, you know. So I don't delete comments. Uh, for the most part. I've probably deleted over the course of... I've been doing this for about, I don't know, two, three years now. But I've deleted maybe 10, 12. I really enjoy fucking spitting back at you. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't delete them. Well, fuck, I don't care. You don't mean nothing to me. <laughs> to be honest with you. Especially them damn Trumpers. They are very vocal. You know. In a country of 360 million people. You know. What, 10,000 showed up in Washington. Tried to take over our government. I mean, that's really not a whole lot of people. You know, people are like, well, what about the 62 million people who voted for Donald? What are they? Yeah, they lost, motherfucker. They lost. What about the 78 million people who voted for fucking Biden? We won, Jack. Live with it, you fucking sore losers. I mean, just down to the basic shit you teach kids, man. When you win a fucking, when you lose a football game, you go up and you shake the fucking guy's hand. You walk by and, you know, you prepare a little better. Uh, you come up with a better game plan and the winners win and the fucking losers go home. That's it. But not now. Uh, Joe Biden talked about that. But these guys hate losing, man. And they've been losing. The last fucking six elections, they've just been getting their clocks cleaned. You guys are putting your money on a fucking lame horse, you know? Jesus. Wake the fuck up. I had a dream last night. I don't even want to get into my dream. 
this would be way too much fodder for uh, the fucking the white wing trash. Oh, I mean right wing, right wrong, white wing. Yeah. Did you see what that looks like? Did you see? Did you did did it cross anybody's mind when they panned over to the Democratic side? that it actually looks like America, you know, black people, brown people, white people, yellow people, Hispanic, you know. Then you pan over to the fucking Republican side and it's just a bunch of pasty white fucking crusty old white guys. Come on, man. Bunch of impotent old fucking white guys. Can't get fucking laid. Can't, you know. I've got a theory on how why you become a Republican. People who re become Republicans were the guys in school who just weren't cool. You know what I mean? So the only thing they can say is, well, I'm a Republican. That's why I'm not cool. That's why I'm, you know, just a fucking stick in the mud like Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell was never a fun guy to be around. You know? So you become a Republican. You're a fucking dud, man. You're a fucking firecracker that never went off. That's your issue. That's what your problem is. You just fucking are not fun people. You're fucking boring. I'm a fucking conservative. Yeah. Get a fucking life. Learn how to have some fun. Stop drinking. Do something. All right, guys. Johnny's got to get ready to go do some work today. I'm going back to the to the beautiful house, and I'm going to try to put in some some hours. This guy, I think he wants me to replace a shower valve, and he's like, I really want you to do that first. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? Let's keep this shit in an order of operation where I started. I'm not opening up a wall and changing out a valve body. He's probably got some fucking pain in the ass, fucking $8,000 shower valve. Uh, I don't want to get into all that. I'm going to go there and, and fix what I've already started, uh, get it put together, and I'll see you next week, man, about doing a shower valve. That's my plan. I'm going to change all the flappers. He's got a box. He's got more cola shit than... And he's like, you can have all this stuff, you know? It's probably 15, 20 fucking cola flappers, man. I left everything there the day, the last time I was there. But when I fix these toilets this time, I'm going to take the flappers that he bought that are the wrong ones. I'll leave the ones that, are, that, are, uh, that will work in the toilets that he has. And uh, that's it, man. This guy's cool, though. I like him, man. I, you can tell he's an intelligent guy. I mean, when I sent him, the stuff I sent him in the, in the text, I like his response, you know? It gives me an idea of what page this guy's on. How he, you know, a guy who's that successful, he's probably sat around uh, boardrooms and, you know, listened to ideas. And... Uh, I may be a little rough around the edges, man. And people, some people like that. I cut right to the chase. I'm not uh, going to fucking candy coat anything. But I sold him on what I was saying. And he, he knows that, you know, this is going to be your best option. I mean, the fact of the matter is the shit that he has now isn't working. Some, some guy commented that those things are nothing but a hassle the ones that i recommended so well so aren't the ones he has they're a fucking hassle so we're gonna give it a shot he bought six of them uh they came in the mail so i'm looking forward to getting over there today even if i have to work six seven hours get this thing i gotta go pick make sure i have a four inch coupling and a nice clean piece of four inch uh pipe uh to get this put a new flange in that hole i'm just going to take my orbital tool and cut the flange off of the closet flange leave it bolted to the floor uh because they tiled right over it i can't get it out and i'm not going to fill the house up with dust uh 
cutting the tile. So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna pull that pipe out from the top. I'm gonna go downstairs, put a nice square cut on that four inch riser. Uh, put a coupling on that take a measurement from the tile I'll put my level across the tile I'll measure right up to the bottom of the level uh, for my riser then I'll go upstairs drop it in glue it and uh, put a flange in tap on it a nice uh, can't leak wax seal oversized bada bing bada boom that toilet's gonna flush better I'll put a new flapper in it well I did put a new flapper in it I'll change out the fill valve and I'll be down the road. I do have a trap uh, for that condensate drain. Yeah, it's not not the way it should be. You know, I mean, I could buy uh, a more expensive trap situation. Um, it's easy. It's plastic, guys. Give me a fucking break. Fucking cut it. Put new shit in. Cost three dollars for that material. Uh, anyways. That's what's happening. I'm looking forward to it. You guys, I just want to let you know. For you Republicans out there, he tried today to get your heads out of your asses. Because it really must be dark up there. And, um, you know, pull your head out of your ass. Make sure you clean your ears out. You know, maybe have a, if you have a hand, well, I don't think they have handheld showers in trailer parks, but, you know, somehow maybe have your girlfriend, you know, spit some fucking water in your ear, clean that shit out of your ears, and, uh, you know, look around, man, and think, wow, what a beautiful place we live in, even if you're in a trailer. It's a beautiful day, man. It's a beautiful day. Turn the news off, man. You know, when it comes to Fox News, they know that the fucking... I don't know if it's the jig or the gig. The gig is up, man. They know Fox News has had a s severe fall from grace. Rupert Murdoch's as old as a fucking dirt under his feet and he's gonna die and his kids aren't as crazy as you know he is these people with money man they they can afford to do some dastardly things man uh so fox news is is going down the tubes swirling in a fucking toilet circling the drain with the likes of sean hannity uh that man woman whatever her name is uh, just look at all of them that have come and gone. Bill O'Reilly, big fucking big mouth, bully type guy, six foot nine, trying tries to scare and intimidate people. I'd kick him right in the fucking balls and bring his face down a little low and give him a fucking uppercut, right in the fucking nose, drive his fucking septum right into his fucking brain, and put him to sleep. I just don't like these people, man. Remember Bill O'Reilly? He started out at Inside Edition. He's just an arrogant son of a bitch. Fuck. Bunch of fucking crackpots. All of them. That's who you fucking... That's who's, who uh, makes sense for you guys. I feel bad for you. You're, you've, you've gone off the reservation, man. You guys need to move to Russia. Go to Russia, uh, where Erdogan uh, is. You know, you guys love the way these guys, these dictators operate. Move the fuck over there. Probably no taxes, low taxes. Move to Haiti, man. That's a, a great place. You know, I don't want to pay fucking taxes. Yeah. Taxes pay for them fucking roads that you drive on every morning making all kinds of fucking noise. Blowing black smoke out of your fucking diesel engine. It kills me. They talk about how bad things are and inflation. But you can afford to buy a fucking locomotive horn for your fucking little Isuzu truck. 
Give me a fucking break, man. Wake the fuck up. I'm gonna end on that. Wake the fuck up.